Jason Momoa, action star, model, superhero, and full-time beast. Up until recently, he was perhaps best known for his role as Khal Drogo in Game of Thrones, that is, until he started playing Aquaman in the Justice League franchise. Jason's beast mode status seemed to be inevitable from day one, as he started out as a model in his hometown state of Hawaii, where he won a Model of the Year award in 1999 be an advantage. While he was working at a surf shop, he got his first acting gig as a series regular on Baywatch Hawaii in 1999. Yeah, I was told to come here and pick up a car under the name Baywatch Hawaii. Okay, under Mr. Jason. No Mr. Just Jason. He had some other television roles like the drama romance North Shore, and he played a fitness guru in the sitcom The Game. When it comes to your health, there are no problems. Only solutions, fitness solutions. <laughs> I wrote it myself. But then his first big break came in 2005 when he was cast as the fierce Ronan Dex, a fan favorite character in Stargate Atlantis. Then in 2011, Jason got his next big break in Game of Thrones as Khal Drogo, a crucial character in the Daenerys Targaryen storyline. At first, he's pretty unlikable. Daenerys is married to him against her will, and he pretty much sees her as a sex object. But as Daenerys grows to love him, she shows him another level of love that he wasn't familiar with. Eventually, the relationship grew into something you really root for as an audience member, and Jason did a terrific job not only with this characterization of a proud, fierce warrior, but he had to do it all in a language that doesn't even exist. Jason's experience with choreography must have come in handy post Game of Thrones as he starred in a number of action movies like Bullet to the Head with Sylvester Stallone, Wolves, Conan the Barbarian, and then there's this movie that he wrote, produced, directed, and starred in called Road to Paloma, in which he played a fugitive from the law who's on the run after exacting revenge on his mother's rapist. In addition to Jason's action packed rampage, especially for the past few years as Declan Harp in the Netflix series Frontier, He's done some comedy, which he would apparently love to do more of, as evidenced by his desire to join Saturday Night Live prior to booking Game of Thrones. You're a giant Saturday Night Live fan. Giant Saturday Night Live fan. Really? Yeah, and I almost like gave up acting just so I could come here and struggle and try to get on SNL. He appeared in several episodes of Drunk History, and his character in Once Upon a Time in Venice was a mixture of tough guy and ridiculous. It seems like the best way to use Jason Momoa in a film or TV show is to have him play these tough guys with a rough exterior, but then subtly inject some inner demons or struggles that he can work with. He's excelled with that in Game of Thrones, Frontier, and the Justice League movies. 